Hi everyone, our journal page today and I'm already started by gluing this a uh, music uh, sheet to my page. I just uh, done a search for a uh, free printables, found this and printed it. That's it. So anyone can have this kind of a uh, music sheet. So and I glued it just with white glue. That's it. Haven't done anything else. So I've got some uh, gesso here. I want to uh, go over the edges and put some gesso. I'm using my finger. You can use a brush. I want to mostly uh, cover the edges, but towards the inside, I want it more faded. I'm not using a brush because I'm not I don't want a it's quite a heavy gesso and I don't want brush uh, strokes on my page we don't want the texture I also have right now because it's heavy it's very thick I do have some texture even using my finger but I'm going to take a little bit of water in a minute and smooth it out also the water will help me uh, smudge or <laughs> let's say uh, blend it into the page so there will be some kind of fading towards uh, the inside right now I'm just putting the gesso where the edges are and now let's take a little bit of water and also <laughs> a baby wipe so I can clean my finger. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of water, smoothing what I already have and just going in a little bit. Just so I won't have a harsh line between the white and what I have on the page. Otherwise, it really doesn't matter. And I'm adding where I think it's needed. Just with a little bit of water and gesso. So now it's fading into the page and I don't have harsh line between the white and the details on the page. You don't have to use a music sheet. You can stamp away whatever you like underneath. It's just a, a quick starter to a page, something to be... To, in the back and add interest. Okay, almost done. And I need to this to dry completely before I'm doing anything else. So I will be back. Okay, so this is dry. I have here some green, white, yellow, and orange, and I want to start stenciling. I'm planning on doing some leaves and flowers, and I'm starting with the flowers. I'm taking a makeup sponge, and I'm going to start putting some flowers, and they are going to be in the back. On top of them, I want some leaves, and then again, more <laughs> flowers. So that's how I'm going to go about it and I just masked a part of the stencil so I can just do uh, the flowers and that's it. So I'm taking a little bit of the yellow and I'm dabbing excess and just starting with the yellow at 
the middle and now I'm taking the orange and doing the petals like this and I'm just going to go and spread it, them around randomly don't really care as I said it's just the beginning and some of it will get covered let's flip let's do one here just this really don't care I'm keeping uh, most of the flowers and the leaves towards the left of my page don't know why that's how I see it but otherwise I'm just playing around I'm also playing and alternating between the yellow and the orange. It really doesn't uh, matter. Just having fun with it. Not trying to be super uh, precise. It really is just part of the background okay so I've got some flowers that are going to be in the back and now I'm going to take this stencil that I made of a uh, all kinds of leaves and I'm taking another uh, sponge makeup sponge and now I'm going to start stenciling all this leaves now what i'm going to do is alternate with the green and the white so i will have some variation in the color and i am keeping the darker color towards the outside towards the edges and i will add a little bit of white when i'm going towards the inside and also I'm not pushing the sponge a lot again I'm looking for a faded look towards the inside of my page and the green I have got here is not kind of runny and not completely opaque so I'm just going over and adding a little bit more so I've got this and afterwards I will take some marker and make uh, the lines here in between my leaves that's it so I'll just go and continue to stencil leaves I'm not sure about this shade of green that I've picked but I'm going to continue and if I really don't like it I will just stencil on top of it you see I'm adding white in several places something like that so it looks uh, right now like a mess but it will take shape once I will uh, put some details in I'm looking now for a marker that will work maybe just maybe I'll just uh, find just a felt pen it doesn't have to be something permanent and let's see good enough for me hmm. 
maybe I'll go and do a line yeah I think <laughs> going with the flow whatever will be will be just to give it a little bit more definition so I'm going to continue uh, stenciling leaves and when I'm done stenciling leaves I'm going to stencil more a uh, more flowers so they will be in the foreground so again it's just playing and layering and I will have flowers in the back and flowers at the front and this is just the start of a background so I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be back Okay, so I finished stenciling all the leaves and the flowers. I don't know if you can see, but I've added uh, more flowers on top of the leaves and finished going with uh, the felt pen just to make the leaves more uh, defined. Now I want to add a few birdies to my page. I've got this stencil that I made and I've added here some a blue indigo blue and white and I still have the green which I don't know why but I think maybe I'm going to play with the blue and the green together not sure how it will <laughs> turn out but we'll see so I think I'm going to do one birdie here and one birdie here well <laughs> at least I, I think that's how it's going to be. It's not really uh, planned all the way. I think about something, but it's not like I'm uh, planning every step of the way. So I'm again just taking some of the paint and dabbing excess and I'm starting to stencil we'll see what we'll get if I don't like it I'll cover it so let's hope for the best and again alternating between the colors just so I will have variation and also I've added white again so I can add a little bit of white and well like I have a little bit of a highlight I don't know again if you do stenciling with only one color what you get is if something that looks flat and I don't like it so that's why when I'm stenciling I'm alternating between colors for me it feels a little bit more organic that way okay looks fine I think <laughs> maybe uh, this needs a little bit more definition after it's uh, it's dry so now I'm going to add another birdie here let's hope I won't make a complete mess of it
Okay. So, lifting, and now I'm going to let this dry. And what I'm going to do is take a black permanent marker and go around the shapes like this. And this doesn't want to work. Let's see. Maybe I'll do with the larger tip. I don't know. Something like that. I just need to have some patience and let this dry so I won't make a mess of it. So I'm going to let this dry, go around again with the marker and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've got the birdies. I really like this page. The only thing I don't like is that here in the middle it's just too prominent, it's too it's taking too much attention from what I've got so I want to push it back what I'm going to do is just take a brush with water and with what I've got here left from my white acrylic paint and I'm going to just go over and now I don't want it to be opaque and I don't mind it I have a little bit of green here, so it's not a complete pristine white. And as you can see, I'm just going over the areas that I want to push back. So they will be faded and not take away from the rest. If it's the, uh, the focal point, which is the birds and let's say that all these leaves are kind of a frame for the page so I'm just going to continue doing this and when I'm finished I'll be back <laughs> it's a shame that I don't know how to edit a video and I don't really have time to learn how to do it maybe <laughs> when I'll retire someday so I'm just gonna pause and I'll be back okay so I'm back I'm finished I'm uh, <laughs> mostly happy because my hand is just itching to do some coloring here on the inside the dreaded white space but I'm going to leave it be that's it <laughs> there will be a white space so I hope you liked it I hope you'll uh, try your hand at something like this and have fun so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now